you might be guilty of watching some of those home improvement television shows. The ones where they show you how easy things are to do, especially plumbing, well, that may not be the case, especially when you're working with PVC. It's just not as simple as gluing them together. There's some things you need to know to make sure each and every joint you do will indeed be leak proof. For example, did you know that the fittings that you work with are not completely symmetrical. Now what I mean by that is that they're actually wider at the top than they are at the bottom of the socket. Why is that? Well they do that on purpose so that the pipe really sits tightly when it goes deep into the joint. But that can work to your disadvantage when you glue because if you glue and slide the joint on and turn your head it actually can slide back off again. Don't let that happen to you. The fittings also have important markings on them that will help you orient the fittings on the pipe. For example, look at this number two. It tells you it's a two inch fitting that goes on two inch PVC pipe. But see this little line right here? This line is 45 degrees away from the two inch mark. This line is 45 degrees away from the seam in the pipe. Those will help you rotate the fitting into position. Before you get ready to glue the pipe and the fitting together, you need to clean everything. The pipe and fittings can get dirty. To successfully glue PVC pipe and fittings together, you need primer and you need cement. The PVC primer is really an important step. The primer dissolves the printing on the pipe so you know that you've primed it and also as the primer dries, it will remove the gloss from the pipe. The process for priming the fitting is the same. Just apply a little bit of primer inside the socket. Once the fitting and the pipe are primed, it's time to cement them together. You twist them about 45 to 90 degrees and you hold them for up to five seconds. Oh, that's a tight joint. That one's not gonna leak. Be sure to read the labels on the primer and the cement and I'll tell you why they contain strong chemicals and solvents and you need to work with them in a well ventilated area or you're going to be doing the happy dance because they will make you crazy. Also they're flammable so be careful. I'm Tim Carter for Ask the Builder. If you want to discover more home improvement tips go to askthebuilder.com.